Oh, I hate you too. Hi, guys. Huh, didn't see you there. Didn't see ya. Just kidding. We, huh. did. we did. Guys, we did something kind of silly today. Yeah. We uh, started recording like our episode, and then we we realized that we weren't. We YouTube-y forgot about it. you. Yeah, we Sorry. forgot. Oops. So if you want, I mean, we could just play you what we've recorded so yeah, far. Yeah, we've just recorded like two seconds. A whole two seconds. Pretty much. More like two minutes. Two minutes, but yeah. It's not that much. Yeah, it's whatever. So here, we'll just hit play, we'll play and you it. guys mm-hmm. just listen, and then we'll we'll hop back on with our mics, and we'll just talk and, and vlog at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah. But so you're not missing out. Yeah, okay. Here we so, go. Here we go. Let me just hit play like normal, I suppose. I, I think it's on. Good morning. Good morning, KCOZ. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Good Morning Commute. I'm Bethany. And I'm Emma. And today we're going to talk about how to get rid of a bad day. Ah, nice. That's right. That's right, yeah, but we'll still be here on Friday, um, yes. so make sure you tune in and say goodbye to us. Yeah, we'll, we'll say bye, maybe talk about spring break a little or something, that sounds fun. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Break, break that would be a good one. That's a good episode. <laughs> um, but we'll miss you. Yeah, we will miss you, but we're still here right now. Yes. We're still here right, right now. The show <laughs> must go on, our game <laughs> must go on, and our days. <laughs> Must go on. As in our <laughs> national Thanks. days. Good transition. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's so many holidays today. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, uh, speaking of a few, it's uh, National Children's Craft Day. So today's the day to get out there and um, have a child. And uh, force them to make a craft. No, cra- I, think it, I think it's Craft a Child Day. Oh. Like make a baby? <laughs> oh, well, that's I interesting. I think that's what it is. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, it does it. say children's craft, as in the children. Oh, it's it, it, they own the craft. It does say oh, that. It does. I misread it. That's okay. That was it's a okay. Me issue. Sorry. Buddy, it's okay. National Children's <gasps> Craft Day, oh, yeah. though. Oh, Emma, I just realized we weren't recording this for our YouTube channel. This is where. This is where. Okay. And now we are. We're recording this for YouTube. Sorry we uh, almost made you guys miss out. That was a Whoops. close one. That was yeah. a close one, yeah. So literally, Emma and I just like stopped what we were doing, and we just pulled up YouTube. Yeah, and now, did. YouTubers, you're here with us. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, so um, our next day. Yeah, let's just, let's get into that. Yeah. Okay, again. Um, It's National Learn About Butterflies Day. Wow, that is so sweet. That's a cool holiday. Yeah, learn about butterflies. Um, There's a lot you don't know about them. They're not just like, they're more complex than you would think. They really are. They're not just these butterflies in the air. Except they are. They are, but like they're not just that. There's more to them. Um, meets the eye. I think they're pretty majestic. I think they're beautiful. I think they're um, cool. I do too. Yeah, I actually have a butterfly tattoo. No. Uh, yeah, it's really big. It's on my shoulder blades because I just want people to think that I'm majestic like a butterfly. I don't know about that, Emma. I've never seen your shoulder, but yeah, both my shoulders. Really, two really big two wings. Two big wings. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a way to celebrate today. <laughs> Get a butterfly tattoo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But it's also oh man National Pie Day. I don't like talking about pie. Why? Because I hate math. Oh, I hate math too. But I don't celebrate the math part. You, of you celebrate pie. the pie part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I celebrate the food part because the math part is hard. Yeah. I but don't like that. It's three point one today. Wait. Three point one four. 
That's today's holiday. Yeah. The date. 3.14. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, big day for math lovers and yeah. pie consumers out big there. Big day for nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, but um, my day, this is my day, National Potato Chip Day. Ooh. Now that's so while you guys are out there with your calculators mm-hmm. and being all nerdy and stuff, I'm going to be having some potato chips. Mmm, yum. Yeah. I might even make my own potato chips today. Oh my goodness, like carve up a potato? Yeah. Fry it or something? Yeah, like slice it. it. Put it in the fryer. Ooh. Yeah. That sounds good. That's just the kind of guy I am. Greasy. You know? (laughs) Greasy fella. It's also a National Write Your Story Day. Yeah. Mm, That's a really... mm, That's... Write your story. mm, That's... Write... A lot. Your life story. To your life story or like you can make up a story today. Oh, okay. That one seems more um, attainable for one day. More fun. I feel like if I was trying to write my... life story or something that might take me a hot minute i think I it know. depends on how old you are yeah if you're two if you're you two write it in one day it won't take that long but if you're 47 it's gonna take you a long time to write that it's gonna take a hot minute it's I probably mean, gonna take 47 years if you're two you might be struggling with writing in general yeah but um i don't know this, this is just an idea of just what an you idea. do today is yeah. to write your story it's also world kidney day oh good so y'all have them y'all love them y'all got them don't forget about them down there you also yeah you should respect your kidneys on that respect yeah you should respect them them. and it's national ag day that's the last one ag agriculture we got a lot of aggies here at the college of the ozarks we really do you know what people (sighs) i just want you to know if if it weren't for uh farmers aggies then you would not be eating today yeah, I've heard that. I've watched a documentary. Good. You need yeah. to get learnt. Get learnt. Farmers, Go think man, an Aggie they're today. Really, they're really paving the way for our future. They really, they really are. They're, it's oh, kind of like with butterflies. It's more than meets the eye with uh, Aggies. Um, you, you look at them and you see the bell buckle, you see the cowboy boots, and maybe even the cowboy hat. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, you see it and you just round them up with the image you got in your head and you're like... Pfft. It's just naggy. Isn't no, there's so much more special. to that yeah. person, that individual. They want to serve you by making crops and, and stuff like that and agriculture. Yeah, That's awesome, Emma. You're right. So if you see one today, make sure to give them a shout out because today yeah. is their day. Thank them. Say, what's your major? Agribusiness. Thank you so much. Thank you. Props to you. If you see a man, uh, yeah. maybe with some cows on the side of the road, yeah. be like... Thank you. Thank you. Know, you. And yeah. you're like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a math major. I'm not gonna make some crops and stuff. Well, so where's so my where's, day? I don't know. It doesn't yeah. matter because it's, it's pie day. So yeah, it's also oh. your day. Yeah, everyone yeah. wins today. I feel like, and even if none of these holidays apply to you, well, hopefully you have a kidney. Yeah. So um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how you can celebrate today. And, by using and it. we all love potato chips. So yeah, you gotta be crazy not to love those. And it's like starting to become spring. Oh, so yeah. maybe there's some butterflies out there. Yes, go yes. find some. So big day today, big Thursday. Big Thursday, yeah. Um, yeah. So today's a big day. Um, it's also a good day to talk about bad days. Hmm. We all have them. We yeah. all hate them. Yeah. Um. And, and it's raining a lot. Yeah. So, so it's easy to get a bad day. Yeah. Around these parts. Mm-hmm. Um. So if you're in a slump right now, we've got some tips from WikiHow to help yeah. improve your day or to get over a bad day. Yeah, yeah. And um, I feel like these tips uh, kind of go with uh, the the sad episode that we did. Remember S A D sad seasonal def- affective, affective disorder. disorder yeah. yeah. About um, just like climate affecting your mood and stuff like that. I've yeah. noticed a lot of these tips are the same. So they're very similar. Maybe this can be a refresher. Yeah, a little refresher for you. So, yeah, this is from WikiHow, like we said, um, and they've broken up it up into categories like usual. And the first one is um, dealing with negative feelings. Mm, so, we'll just vibes. go ahead and jump in here. Yeah, so our first tip from WikiHow is to focus on your physical senses if you're feeling stressed or anxious. 
Okay. Hmm. So figure out, um, sometimes like I don't even realize that I'm stressed and then like I realize like how I'm feeling and maybe I'm like kind of like my eyes are twitching a little bit and then I realize okay wait maybe I need to get some more rest or something like that you know what I mean wait a minute maybe I am stressed (laughs) yeah 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 um maybe it's always good to like be in tuned with your body and your thoughts and your feelings like be aware of them for sure um I I don't know I'd like to think I'm pretty observant but like observant of others not so much myself I know I'm the same way yeah so take some time for yourself today and observe. Um, see if you're feeling stressed or anxious. Yeah, and then uh, reflect on your emotions without judgment. Oh, okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, so you yeah. Don't have feelings. Yeah, exactly. It's okay to cry it out a little bit. <laughs> Go cry. Yeah. Go cry. Reflect. Be reflect. Like, I'm emotional. I don't know. Yeah, journal. Journal. Pray. That's a good way Pray to it reflect. out. Um, and then, uh, the next one's try to identify the source of your negative feelings. Hmm. So what's making you so anxious? What's making you have a bad day? Um, maybe the issue is you and you don't even realize it. Like maybe it's you that needs to change your attitude or, um, it's you that needs to pick yourself up and get back on your feet. Um, just figure out what it is that's causing you to have a bad day and what, what you can do to change it. Maybe it's, um, homework or job stress. Or a toxic friend that you need to cut out and love your life. <gasps> cut, cut, chop, chop. I don't know. Um, or, um, uh, um, I don't know. You know, just, just Could be try anything. to identify the source. Could be anything. That's good. Yeah, and then um, you need to acknowledge that not all bad days have an obvious cause. Well, that's good. Sometimes so, you ever yeah. just feel moody? Honestly, yeah. yeah. You could just feel moody, and yeah. like I said, it could be a, a you issue. Mm. Um, and I don't know. Um, I know for women, um, things can get pretty uh, emotional, and sometimes you don't even realize what's exactly wrong. And you know what? Sometimes that's okay to not know what's wrong. You it's know? okay to not have a cause. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it just happens, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you just have a bad day. Exactly, and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um, you also need to make sure that you're sharing your feelings with someone you trust. That's right, yeah. That's so important. This is kind of like um, counseling in a way. Um, this, this could be counseling. You could go to counseling. I know at CBO it's, it's, uh, we have counseling at our hands at any time we need. Um, and yeah, or just like a friend or a parent, uh, um, an authority figure that you just really trust Mm -hmm. and that, you know, you can talk things out with, even if you don't know what the problem is, you can still talk it out. That's really good. I feel like I tell you, like, all my emotions and feelings and stuff. Me too. Because I trust you. Sometimes we just cry. Yeah. Before the out. episode. And then we wipe it off and then turn on YouTube. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. No. I'm fine. Yeah, so that's a good one. Uh, and then you can also remind yourself that what you're experiencing is temporary. Um. Yeah, it's not going to last. Like, it is just a bad day. Yeah, know? it's just a bad day. There are good days, too. Exactly, so. yeah. Yeah, and it's easy whenever you're just, like, in a slump to just kind of um, take it as, like... I don't know, whenever I'm having a bad day, sometimes I'm kind of just like, life sucks, but it doesn't actually suck because yesterday was a really good day. You know what I mean? Yeah, your whole life isn't defined by one day. Exactly. Exactly. And this stuff is not eternal. It's temporary. Stuff on this earth is not eternal. You will overcome. Exactly. Okay, so so that's how you can kind of be dealing with your negative feelings. But then uh, the next category on the WikiHow tips is to practice stress relieving activities. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, cool. All so right. uh, they've got four here for us. There's so many more, but there's just four. Uh huh. Um. So the first one's doing deep breathing exercises. So we can just go ahead and practice this. Sorry, I burped a little bit. <laughs> You're good at that. Breathe in deeply, uh, in your nose. No, it, it's in your nose and out your oh. nose. Oh. Kind of makes me lightheaded. It does me too. But Dude, I, uh, I got this new meditation app called Headspace. Ooh. It's actually pretty fun. Um, it, like, just has this cool, like, guy. He's, like, kind of British. And he'll just talk and he'll be like, 
all right, now we're just going to breathe a little bit. And I'll, Oh, that's not British. What is that? I don't um, know. But, yeah, he uh, he's really chill, and, like, they're only three minutes long, so I can just do them in the morning. Yeah. That's really cool. Although, I did one this one time. Oops. <laughs> I did one this one time with my friend Bobby, and, like, it was almost over. It was, my meditation was almost over, and he just screamed and, like, threw off my meditation vibe. So, I would suggest doing these meditation alone. exercises alone. Yeah, yeah. Doing these breathing things alone because um, outside influences might distract you. Yeah, so. yeah, you get it out of, your, out of your meditation vibe. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, deep breathing exercises, meditation, um, and you can also focus on a creative creative activity. Yeah, like a... Children's crafts. Children's crafts, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some coloring, some, yeah. uh, some, some juggling. Some crafting. Um, for me, my creative outlet, I haven't done it in a while because I haven't had very much time, but whenever I'm stressed, I do this, for make sure. Make TikToks. No, that, <laughs> I make, that's a good, that's a really good one. Yeah, I do do that. She's good at yeah. making TikToks. Yeah, you're really good at it. Oh, no. I we're like all, it when we're we on there. Together. Ours, maybe I should just turn it into a joint account. Oh my goodness, that'd Honestly, be so much fun! Honestly, because it's like all, the both of us. Oh, uh, but we one thing that I... Them we on should YouTube. Oh, that's really okay. good. Okay, our TikToks Find are, us on they're TikTok. coming, they're coming. Yeah. Okay. Um, Headspace, you just got a notification from Headspace. Is that's your mind in the past, the future, or present? Yeah, that's my meditation. Yeah. Okay, my, cre- my craft that, that, that I do is polymer clay. Polymer clay? Yeah, yeah. You just make stuff? Yeah, I make stuff. Some pots? Mm-hmm. I should show you. That's cool. That's Does cool. it help you relieve stress? It does, absolutely. Have you seen Hot Rod? Uh, oh, I've only seen parts of it. Oh, okay, uh, never mind. Well, yeah, one of the guys does, does polymer Ew. clay. Ew, yeah. oh, good one. Yeah, That's yeah. funny. Okay, I'll need to watch that. Pretty good. Yeah, watch it. Um, another tip on here, though, is uh, to take a little time to do something you enjoy. So maybe that's uh, watching Hot Rod. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, take Play some with time. that clay stuff. Mm-hmm. Go hiking. Spend some time outdoors. Um, just oh, do something you like. Take your dog for a walk. Yeah, hammocking. Mm, maybe eat some food. I like doing that. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Mm-hmm. That's fun. And then um, you could also spend time with friends and family. This one really helps. That's I like good. It. I love spending time with friends and fam. It's especially, yeah, whenever you have a bad day, it's good to get out there with your friends and fam. Say, hey, I just had a bad one. Can we go out? Um, for milkshakes get some cream yeah some ice cream some ice cream yeah that's good all right and that wraps up all of the category or up oh, oh, sorry all the tips from this category which is practicing stress relieving activities um uh, but then we also have a category called helping yourself feel better physically oh okay Ooh. so what you can do is go for a run jog or walk so we kind of talked about this already you can go for a hike with your mommy or mm-hmm. your friends um just go outside let out some energy exercise a little bit Mm -hmm. let out the negative energy and exchange it for some positive energy that's really good um or you could do some restorative yoga poses oh this is good you could practice the meditation meditation Yeah. yeah exactly yeah that's a good one do the tree or the tree pose and the yeah pose do the um the downward facing downward dog pose. Dog pose. <laughs> I'm not actually. Good job. Doing That's it. good. I don't know what I'm doing. That's good though. Okay. Good All right. Yeah. Some yeah, yoga. Good. Gonna practice some yoga. You could also fuel yourself with a healthy meal or snack. So mm. um, maybe make some avocado toast. That sounds good. Avocado yeah, banana. toast. Maybe some yogurt with honey. Yeah. I'm having a bad day. Time to eat some yogurt with honey. That's good. Um, you could eat fruit. Fruit. Yum. Two fruits and a lie. <laughs> like two truths That was funny. Yeah. Like <gasps> what? <sighs> oh. Um, you could also get seven to nine hours of quality sleep. Yep. High quality sleep. Go to bed, get some sleep. Um... Yeah, I need that. Yeah, me I too. I need that. I really need that, yeah. That's really good, yeah. So make sure that you're... No. <laughs> 420. Blaze it. I literally was like, I was like, guys, they're going to open their door any second. Any second. 
We we always we we always uh, we always we always we always tell them a happy 420 yeah. every time it's 420 it's really funny but it happened during the show this time so yeah, yeah, we had to press blaze pause. it You're welcome. blaze it yeah, just, should, yeah. should we go back and oh yeah we should sound back. okay okay we're just gonna fix that real quick she said she predicted that we were gonna do it that's so funny she was like you called it like, that's yeah funny. what Oh, there it is. Emma, Emma, hold up, hold up, bud. Uh, you're moving oh, my hand a little bit. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that was <laughs> Bam. Oopsie. Okay, okay. So you just said two truths and a lie. Delete. I put. Now they won't know about 420. Yeah, they will never know. <laughs> Two fruits and a lie. Why did I even say that? That's funny. Oh well. Okay, you ready? Yep, ready. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I know that whenever I don't get my reg uh -huh. uh, sleep cycle in, it totally throws my day off. Same. My same, beauty same. rest. Yeah, I like sleeping. Me too. Well, I guess that wraps all of our uh, tips up from that category, and that actually is our last tip, just from Wiki How. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Emma and I only came up with one tip today. Yeah. To help you get over your bad day. Yeah. So it's, I guess we'll just say it. Smile. Smile. Yeah. Well, when you're sad, if you smile, it'll make you feel better. Yeah, it makes you feel better. Um, I um. also think that um having a nice warm bath. At that the end of the day, will day. really help. Yes. Um, having a friend that will give you a shoulder massage or Ooh, neck massage yes. really helps. That sounds good. At the end of the week, getting your group of gals together and having a spa night. Ooh, spa night. That's that incredible. really helps. Like, girls, I had a bad day this week, and we just need to get together Girls. And get over our bad days. We just need a spa day. We just spa day. And if you're a boy, yeah. maybe it's uh, time to go to the gym, bruh. Lift some weights bruh. to get over this bad day. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah, you know or play, play video games with your friends. Yeah, or yeah. Something like that. I don't know. That's good. That sounds fun. Yeah, you could also um, just go home, take a shower, and then um, be ready. Er, and then before you go to bed, pick out a really cute outfit. Ooh. For the next day. Yeah. And then wake up early in the morning, do your makeup, do your hair. Uh, sorry, boys. But just make sure that you look really good. I feel like that'll just, help you like, feel better. Set, yeah. set the tone for yeah. this to be a good day. Like, I, it's, 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 I don't know if, if it sounds silly, but like, just feeling good about the way that you present yourself kind of helps you to have a better day. Definitely. Man, I totally agree with that. Just puts you in a better mood. Yeah. 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 Well, I can't really think of any more tips. Can you? Um, maybe you could, like, pray. Yes. Oh, pray. my goodness. Spend some time with God. Um, just do your devotional, your journaling. Um, and maybe even call your mom. Yeah. Talk, yeah, she'll talk help it you out get over your bad day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, awesome. Those That's are some good tip. tips, Emma. Those are some good ones. Good. Well, we should probably wrap up with our quote. Yes, get we into should. it. Yeah. Uh, this one's from Neil deGrasse Tyson. Hmm. I don't think I said his middle name right. DeGrasse? So we'll just say Neil Tyson. Yeah, Neil Tyson. And uh, we think Neil said it best when he said, "Dinosaurs are extinct today because they lacked opposable thumbs and the brain power to build a space program." That's the reason. Ooh, I okay. feel like that's a little bit of a like far fetch. Uh, yeah, it's far fetch, but it also might be a, a a stab or a bash at uh, maybe a dinosaur America or something for oh. having a better space program. Oh my gosh! Do you think that's what that's about? I don't know. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to get there. Uh, a little controversial, controversial yeah. in there. But um, I mean, I, I just am thought it was cool because I like dinosaurs. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to think about that quote for a while though. Okay, well, what are you going to do with it? Man, I am probably actually going to have to hold it down, um, take a knife, and then just slice it into very thin pieces, um, and then uh, throw them in a batter, and then flick them into a fryer pan. Ooh, yum. So they get very nice and crispy, and then mm. chomp, chomp. Dinner served. Dinner served. Quote. Mm -hmm. Well, that was good. Yep. 
And I feel like this was a good episode on how to help you get over a bad day. That's right. So thank you for listening, guys. Mm -hmm. And um, to wrap things up, let's go to ya boy Wilford Brimley. Oh, yeah. He's got a lot of good things to say. Well, bam. Let me just pause it right here and pull up old Wilford. <laughs> and if you'll obey these simple rules, I promise you, <laughs> you'll feel better. T uh, take my word for it. All right, you ready? Ready. Wilford? I can't hear Wilford. I promise you, you'll feel uh. better. See if I'm not right. Thanks for your time. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.